As one often finds, music tells us a lot about the roots of a people. Immigrants from England, Wales, Ireland, and Scotland arrived in Appalachia in the 18th century, bringing with them the ballads and dance fiddle music from the land of their ancestors. In this new world, events of the day, such as the development of the railroad, fueled the creation of new narrative pieces. Slaves from Africa contributed the banjo and the blues. New generations crafted their own instruments, like the fretted dulcimer that came from right here in western Pennsylvania. And the introduction of catalog mail order businesses spread the guitar, the mandolin, and the auto harp throughout the region. Radio and sound recording technology in the early 20th century encouraged a national revival of interest in folk music. The entry of large-scale coal mining operations in the late 1800s had brought radical change to the social fabric of the area. The old ballad tradition was now applied to the new set of ills that beset the communities, producing a rich tradition of protest songs. Through the years, the roots of Appalachian music have influenced musicians from Aaron Copeland to Bob Dylan, from modern country and western singers to Bruce Springsteen. We have a tradition, a vision, and we know a way. Let us build a bridge of hope. Let us make a path of understanding. Together, let us plant that seed of truth and watch it grow into something beautiful.
one more important influence in Appalachian music were religious songs. Gospel music telling the story of salvation, of the promised land, spoke to a people living with scarce monetary resources, but filled with the love of family and community. Artists like the various iterations of the Carter family brought that simple message of love and home, of the beloved community, to listeners for many decades. From the book of Acts, they took the story of Moses leading his people, and this lay at the roots of Appalachian religion. This Moses whom they rejected when they said, Who made you a ruler and a judge? And whom God now sent as both ruler and liberator through the angel that appeared to him in the bush. He led them out, having performed wonders and signs in Egypt, at the Red Sea, and in the wilderness for forty years. This is the Moses who said to the Israelites, God will raise up a prophet for you from your own people, as he raised me up. He is the one who was in the church in the wilderness, with the angel, who spoke to him at Mount Sinai and with our ancestors, and he received living oracles to give to us. <laughs> 